Okay. Okay, so I can see my screen, hopefully. Still can. I am back with Devil's Delight. But I'm not switching my Devil Fruit today because I don't... I was never given a recommendation of what my next Devil Fruit should be yet. So, hey, what is going on? But hey, I am back today with another video. And yes, we are continuing Devil's Delight. Because it's a fun mod. Well, the Mind Mind Nummy mod is a really fun mod. And, uh, yeah. Might get. Ah! Finger. Cracked. Ouch. My game is incredibly laggy. As soon as I started recording, go figure. But hey, at least it's not as bad as yesterday where I couldn't even look for an hour. So, there's that. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hate to slag so much. Now, as you guys can see by one of the items in my inventory, uh, two of the items in my inventory, uh, I added a mod back in, because I'm lagging the heck out anyway, so might as well. And as for the Prismarine in my inventory, uh, this ship was near a uh, ocean monument. So, I used my Hana Hana Nomi, activated the ability that lets me use the abilities on everything in a, pro a proximity of me, and I just kept snap, slap, and twist in every single Elder Guardian and Guardian in that structure. Also on the ship. Yeah, I didn't even touch the ship, and I was able to kill everything. <laughs> it was fun. Craft wood planks. I don't care, game. I kept switching versions uh, into 1.7.10, 1.12.2, yeah, da da da. So. I keep getting this tutorial thing. If anyone knows how to permanently disable this tutorial, let me know. Because I would love to do that. And I'm really hoping you guys cannot hear what I am hearing right now. Because if you can, then... Okay, it's a good thing I muted because my dog started barking and uh, the people who are taking my dog outside were yelling. So, yeah, smart call, helper, smart call. Alright, so... 
found a bunch of stuff, by the way. I don't remember if I got this book on camera or off camera, but it's a good book. Fortune One's not bad. Now, as for floaters, I need to make a lot of those. Now, I'm only cheating in the helm because I have enough wood to make all the I uh, all the things for it, so that doesn't matter. But I don't have gold. But but if I had uh, no devil fruit, I would have been able to steal all the gold from the elder guardians. So one gold ingot versus the nine gold blocks I could have had. Who cares? I just won't attempt to grab that. That makes it fair. Right? Now, let's make some wood planks. Because it was planks that I needed. That's something I had to confirm. And with these wooden planks, I'll make my crafting table. Because apparently I lost my crafting table somewhere. I have no idea where. And by the way, this will not be my permanent ship. It'll just be my temporary ship. Because my permanent ship is going to be, well, a lot bigger than this and not built by me because I'm not building that. Like, I can't build. Uh, so much lag. Now, I'm going to place this down right now. And I'm not going to activate it yet, because if I don't make the floaters, then I will never float. Because that's the point of floaters. Sixty-four. That should actually be plenty, but I'm gonna be doing this in creative because ocean, devil fruit. So I'll be right back while I place all the floaters down. A lot longer than expected to. So uh, I got all the floaters down and I deleted all my current floaters because, again, I did it in creative thanks to my devil fruit. And yeah. Uh, now we are able to, uh, get everything set off, but first I need to make the ship even, to so add one more crafting table right there. Now, before I actually set off, uh... Seeing there is a ocean monument right there. Right? It's right there? Not... There's an ocean monument. Right over there. There it is. Over there. Because of that, I am going to actually cheat in some sponges. And, um, well, show you guys the reason why I'm doing that. It's not over here, but, um, maybe it's one lower. Eh, 
Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter, I guess. Let me show you guys the reason why I wanted to add this mod in the first place. Because if I sneak and right click this helm, I can align, disassemble, and assemble. Let's assemble. Let the game's gonna lag out a bit. And if I did everything correctly, this ship Ah, there we go. It, for some reason, sent me to the roof. This ship is now able to float on the water. Yeah, that's a problem down there. Hopefully, as soon as I start moving, that stops happening. Look at us go! I'm actually able to use the ship as a ship. How cool is this? Now, I need to apparently change the controls for Ascend. Because apparently it's not what I thought it was. I thought the ability to jump worked. It does not. So, driving. That says Descend. Okay, there is no Ascend for some reason. That's not good. Trying to get myself out of the water a bit. Because I don't want my entire ground level to be flooded. But yeah, this is an actual working ship now. Okay, so I might have a way to fix this if I am correct. Uh, I'm going to cheat in a, uh, an engine, yeah, ship engine, place it right about there, put in some coal, and drive. Uh, 
and hopefully this works. If it does, then hurrah. If it doesn't, then oh dear. Yeah, my game does not like this at all, but... It was fine when I was at very little speed. Uh. Come on, come on, face an island, face an island. Yeah, I think I see where all the waterlogged happened. If I could face this island... Should be able to get my ship out of the water. And that made it worse. I added so many floaters, so I don't get why this is happening to me, but... It is. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Yeah, I'm not joking when I say I added so many floaters. Uh, I think the problem is the fact that the inside's waterlogged a bit. So I'm going to go into spectator and see if I can fix that. Yeah, these water bits right here is why the ship is waterlogged a bit. Probably should have thought of this first, because I knew this problem was here. So, into creative I go. And some sponges I spawn. Nope, that's not that is a regular sponge. Okay, none of this water seems to want to be clearing out, which is a big problem. Oh boy. Okay, I guess I don't need the second story after all. Who cares at this point, I guess. Uh...
All right, should be good now. Man, I hate the lag. Man, I wish I could have, uh... Uh... Went into... Like, I mean, pause the video. That's what I meant to say. But nope. But yeah, apparently none of this lag has anything to do with the ship. Oddly enough. Oh, yeah. Bonk. So, now in my new and improved ship... That's way better than a vanilla ship. Uh, we are going to be going... Uh, I think I'm... I think I've been going south. Let me check a check a check that check a check a check that check jack. That. Yeah, I've been going south. Also, that's another ship right there. I am going to steal that ship. Well, not steal, but destroy that ship. Put me back. Thank you. Uh, I believe it was this way. Eh, whatever. It looks like it was a marine ship, so... Let's keep going south. Okay, according to this, I'm going southeast a bit. I should be going directly south. I don't know why I'm going southeast. But yeah, this is a really fun mod. I really like the Eureka mod because of doing this. Now... Obviously, in order to get Eureka, I need to add Valkyrie Skies. And Valkyrie Skies adds items that I really don't care that much about at all. Yeah, it says I'm going east. Now, so... Huh, what do you know? I guess I am going to the ship after all. Now, do I bother loading the ship? Unsure. Yeah, the direction you're facing is broken on the minimap with this mod for some reason. But hey, look at this actual ship. Isn't this awesome?
Now if I trigger my Devil Fruit abilities... And go over to this ship. Oh, wrong direction. Oh, that's why it looks so weird, because it's a wrecked ship. I get it. Alright. So, here's how broken this Devil Fruit can end up being. And why I really like this Devil Fruit. It's not my favorite Devil Fruit, but it's a really awesome Devil Fruit in this mod. Ship. If I turn on ability seven, one, two, three. One, two, three. Perhaps I'm not in the right proximity of the ship. Alright, dismount. Okay, hold up. I need to back up. Turn the ship around. And try going on to the other side of this ship. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. You know, maybe I just stop bothering with this ship. But, hey, look how cool this is, though. I'm on an actual ship, not just a tiny little boat. So this is really fun. I made a full-blown turn. Eh, yeah, see ya, losers. Unfortunately, you don't get the satisfaction of uh, dying to uh, Captain Two Halves. Captain Helper, who am I kidding? If I could stop lagging, please. Okay, I'm going to pause. Hopefully this doesn't break me.
Okay, so despite me lagging out like this, uh, my ship is stuck. Because of stupid polar ice caps. Go figure. So I'm going to fix that. And then uh, hopefully I can actually start moving again. Because, oh my god, go figure. Game, stop, stop lagging so I can fly. Stop lagging! I mean, I'm really angry right now. <sighs> yeah, this, this is why I wanted this to not be so low to the ground, which it for some reason is. Because all this is getting in the way of everything. So this is incredibly ridiculous. And I want to point out, my ship should not have sunk like this. I might have just killed a fish. <clears throat> yeah, icebergs! They're, they ruined me. Greatly. Game! Let me fly! Oh, I hate you so much, game. Oh boy. Okay, so the game's not letting me fly no matter what I do. So, uh, I think I'm just gonna end the episode. How long have I been recording? Yeah, 40 minutes. You guys saw my ship. You guys saw how it works. I lost my ship just as quickly because uh, I can't get past this stupid ice caps. Which is really annoying how I finally found a ship good enough right in the ice caps. But that's just my luck, isn't it? So uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to be ending this video here. Uh, hopefully I can manage to get my ship unstuck. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will see you all next time. And good. Bye. Also, I saw that Yagata that Yagata bowl saying no to me. Yeah, you're gonna die later, Yagata.